Hi guys, we are back with another disease, Infectious Canine Hepatitis, ICH. So the susceptible host, dogs are the main susceptible host, immunocompromised dogs will be more susceptible and also wild animals like foxes, coyotes, bears, uh, bears, sorry, not bears, wolves get affected, transmission. Urine, feces, nasal secretion, vomitus, etc. can act as a transmission agent because they contain numerous copies of virus. And the recovered dogs measured virus in their urine for around 6 months. However, they can be vaccinated and the titer of the virus present in the virus urine, urine of the virus infected animal which is recovered can be decreased. Now, the main uh, Transmitted is, is between direct contact, like you can see the animals are getting direct contact and indirect contact. So this water will be having the urine from an infected animal and the un, an infected animal is drinking this water so that it can get infected. The incubation period is 4 to 9 days. Um, biphasic fever occurs sometimes and the second fever is due to mainly lodgement of virus in the system and also due to the secondary bacterial infection. And this is actually the pathogenesis. The virus come into contact with the animal's body through the nasal or ingestive route. And it replicates in the tonsils and cervical lymph node in the upper respiratory tract and the buccal mucosa. Now it moves to the thoracic duct, that's the lymph duct. And they get into the blood and they produce viremia. They mainly go and settle in eye, liver, kidney and other endothelium. Eye, they produce uvea anterior chamber corneal endothelium reflexes and they produce many severe uveitis corneal edema that leading to blue eye disease will be coming to it later and the liver actually they inhibit the activities of hepatocytes and Kupfer cells and they produce chronic hepatic fibrosis and if at all low titer of virus is present that may lead to acute hepatitis which can also lead to acute death in some cases and in high titer sometimes it can lead to in apparent disease that may be a uh, subclinical disease but they may be shedding more amount of virus and now in kidney actually the antigen antibody complexes lodge in the kidney lobules and they produce immune complex mediated nephritis. that is focal interstitial nephritis virurea that means virus is present in the urine other endothelium they may go and produce organ failure D dic and in whenever the dic is getting more complex in the heart that may delete we move to the clinical signs most infections are asymptomatic in systemic infections there are three overlapping syndromes which are usually seen in puppies less than six or months that is paracute disease acute disease and mild cases encephalitis is common in wild ICH that is in wildlife ICH fox encephalitis is very common now we move to the clinical signs Fever actually due to viremia, the depression due to neuronal manifestations, loss of appetite due to liver problems, coughing and all due to the lung problems, vomiting and hepatic encephalopathy, encephalopathy is actually mainly due to the liver problems, bleeding disorder and hematoma in mouth, abnormal color of urine. You can see uh, this will be the normal color of urine produced by a normal dog and this will be this. Actually this is viruria, the, this urine contains virus and actually due to uh, problems made in the glomerulus clinical signs kidney actually they produce glomerulonephritis which is mediated by antigen antibody complex chronic kidney lesions result from immune complex lodging in the glomerulus disseminated intravascular coagulation a frequent complication of ICH and it actually produces many hemorrhages in the vessels the urine is abnormal color due to liver damage and kidney damage Macroscopic lesions, splotchy echimotic hemorrhages in the lungs. It's actually uh, why by this they cause coughing. Macroscopic lesion by itself, uh, this must be differentiated from parvoviral enteritis. Scattered pale white roughened specks on this rosa is mainly present here. Severe watery thickening of the wall. Edema is the main problem in the intestine lesions. Macroscopic lesions, the swollen spleen, liver, and gallbladder. Actually, this is a swollen liver from a dog that died from ICH. You can see the liver getting and the intestine. It's completely edematous. Now we go to the second one, the blue eye mediator. 
is the blue eye complex or the white is why blue eye it's actually type 3 hypersensitivity that means characterized by an anterior white disc with severe damage to the coronal endothelium causing coronal edema by day 7 uh, severe anterior white and coronal edema develop due to immune complex hypersensitivity and this circulating immune complex that is the antigen antibody complex they get connected and they circulate in the blood and they deposit on the corneal endothelium this may produce corneal edema so disruption of corneal endothelium result in the accumulation of edematous fluid in the corneal stroma now the microscopic lesion that is congestive hepatopathy and hepatic encephalopathy can also be a common manifestation here see intranuclear inclusion bodies in the hepatocytes these are intra large intranuclear inclusion bodies these are the large intranuclear inclusion bodies diagnosis is tentative based on the clinical signs as usual and the virus isolation in the cell culture urine etc antigen detection gross pathology paired serra tests prevention and control by proper hygiene should be practiced vaccination should be practiced attenuated cav2 vaccines may provide cross protection against cav1 cav2 actually causes what Tracheobronchitis, infectious tracheobronchitis, and CAV1 as the causative agent of ICH. So these are the two vaccines mainly used. Actually, this is the liver is getting enlarged in this disease. Got a small picture. Small intestine mainly we have edematous intestine, the main problem. Signs of liver disease, any liver disease will have the signs of jaundice, lethargy, loss of appetite, fever, blood clotting disorders, vomitus, etc. So some facts, these are some facts regarding, and this one, the made of uh, adenovirus is made up of 252 structural capsomias. This 252 was asked many times in the ICR exams and many public service commission exams. Thank you.